what I'm about to tell you. First of all, I unhappily woke up. That's why you're getting this video loud. She's at church. I unhappily woke up. Um, a measly four and a half hours after I went to bed. But I woke up as if, as in I'm wide awake. I took a natural sleep supplement, but the fact is I can't go to bed so late. That's the whole thing, okay? That's, that's the whole thing determining factor here is me going to bed so fucking late. So, I have those there for a reason. We'll discuss. So, what I'm about to say, I can tell you I just know, beyond any shadow of any doubt, my mom would never ever admit this, not even to herself. Not even to herself, mind you. Not even to her, herself, okay? Maybe to herself, but to no one else. Again, it's, it's my opinion. I'm entitled to give my opinion, especially when I have this shit with my mom just coming home from from where I didn't even know she was going. I predicted it though. I told friends of mine and and that woman from her church who I turned into a friend. Well, I can't ever be a real friend with a you know, I haven't enough Christian. I don't have anything in common with them. That's the bottom line. I don't have anything in common with them on that level, you know, really deep friends, you need to have stuff, really deep, deep shit in common with, to form like that type of, you're my good, good friend bond, you know, anyhow, that's neither here nor there, uh, like I already, you know, My mom fancies that she comes home out of the blue. I'd already predicted what she was going to do. I predicted when she's she's depressed and thinking she has to stay home all weekend at summer and she wants to do something and I'm taking off, which I didn't get to do, by the way, thanks to her. And then I'm left with a dilemma. Should I do it today when I really can't do much of anything today? I could drink. I could drink and be potentially hungover tomorrow. So I don't have to, um, you know, if I'm hungover, I can better just not, I can better let her her, her crap wash all over me and, and not let it, you know, make me feel like I'm going to wind up in the hospital myself. Anyway, as I predicted, did I lock that? Yeah. No, she's not supposed to come on me. I never know with her these days. Just, you know. As I predicted, she got her piano teacher to early in the morning take her, take her wherever. Remember, things I can't tell you doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The fact is, she comes home and, and like, I'm not in enough hell, like, I'm not in enough pain that she has a new boyfriend. And if you don't support that 100%, or if you say, and Malia, Selena experienced this too with my mom hanging up on her. If you don't support my mother having a new boyfriend and all excited and even called and left a message for that friend who hurt my mom and probably have you know helped trigger this latest thing because she said she she said she would come down and then she changed her mind and then she can't said she can't come down for months till september and that hurt my mom it hurt me too it just didn't really hurt me, of course because that woman is just my friend through my mom right i would never i'm not her friend she's mentally like my mom is she's younger than my mom but she's still like you know she's not my friend 
but she's my friend through my mom, and I like having her here, and she, you know, anyhow, she actually called me and says, your mom leave me up to call me earlier. Yeah, but I heard her leaving a voicemail. Why are you calling me? I say to myself, because I didn't even look at my phone until in the middle of the night, early morning today. I didn't go to bed till 5, woke up at 9.30, which is why you're getting this video. Loud. You know, some people have problems here in my videos. Those are people, I guess, who just are, are watching them on phones that can't turn up loud enough, aren't able to turn up loud enough, or they have just their little speaker on their computer, which desktop computer, which uh, or lap, whatever, but or they watch a laptop. But if you're on a desktop computer, I would never have that that speaker ever. I have an outside speaker, and they're not that expensive. I got it off of Amazon for like forty bucks, and it's. The difference between having a really, you know, you could never have any problem if you can have an outside speaker. Some people don't want that. I do. I do for the sake of listening, playing music loud. Okay. Anyhow, people have complained my video is too low, and my video would never be too low if you had better speakers. So, <laughs> that's the way it goes. But, here's a nice loud video. My mother's not home. She'll be home soon. Again, I unhappily woke up. I wish you weren't getting this video. You might not get it. I might something might happen to me if I take off today. Anyhow, I unhappily woke up. Born, I slept deeply. I don't think I had nightmares. I didn't have the dream that I wanted, which was just to be hugging my Omar again. didn't hug his body. You know, people do that. If I was, if, if I had had the home euthanasia, they even say, because they charge so damn much, that, like, you can stay with the body for as much as you want, as long as you want to, which isn't really true. They're not going to let you stay with the body forever, but nobody's going to want to stay with the body forever anyway after they've had their pet euthanized and they have a stranger here, they're going to let them take the body away. And they have to have it right at your front door too. They don't. They make sure they're like you need to have it. You need to bring that body wound. I'm where I mean, it's the per the dog's still alive, pet still alive. The dog, you know, you have to have the pet in a thing, in a, in a thing right where or not in a thing doesn't necessarily it depends on the dog, but you have to have the dog or pet right near the door so they can just see. It. But nevertheless, I've seen it in movies. I don't know, probably not TV programs, but I've seen in movies, they hug. I couldn't do that. I couldn't sit there and hug my baby. I was delusional. I was, I was, um, having, having, what do you call it? Hallucinations. I was having hallucinations auditory that I was hearing him cry in the bag in the, the the sheet in the, the bag that I wrapped him up in. Couldn't hug him. Are you kidding me, but I've seen people do it. And they say you shouldn't touch the body fluid though, whatever, but I've seen people hug. They hug dead bodies. on a tangent I can't remember why I, what, until I watched this video um, it's okay so yeah, I predicted exactly what happened. My mom, the only thing I was wrong about, she didn't, um, 
wherever she was going. She didn't need money or anything from me. She wasn't going to be by herself. However, she still had to ask her piano teacher for a ride. I predicted that. I said it to Joe and Celine. I didn't text in, in that moment. Now I'm sitting here right now. How the fuck did I go off on a tangent about Omar? I forget. Anyhow, back to my mother. She would never, ever admit, not even to herself, that she doesn't really find comfort in God, in her belief in God, in, in, in that. You say, why do you say that? Also, we could get even deeper. Again, this is my opinion. She'd never admit it. She'd never admit it. Trust me. It's how I feel in her shoes. It's how I feel anyway, except I don't... I just reject it all. See? Outright. She would never admit that she is unable to find comfort in her belief in God and her religion and whatever, okay? Number one. And number two... And who could blame her? She resents that she was cursed with that mental illness that's landed her in and out of mental hospitals for over half of her life, including just a couple months ago. Okay? A few months ago. Is she going to admit that even to herself? No. But when she gets sick, the demons come out in her and she wants to watch demonic shows that are sex filled and say things to me that are vulgar you know like like you you be god you you're someone who would destroy someone's wet dream wouldn't you lara or you didn't she didn't say wouldn't you Lara? she just said god you're a person who likes to destroy someone's wet dream well I, I worry about your safety but the irony here is that i could drink get drunk and, and I have no Omar to keep me grounded, no Omar to keep me, fr you know, and I could wind up hurt or dead. So, you know, that's the reality of this situation. But these didn't drink them. I don't like drinking in the home, unlike a lot of people. Or I could drink in the home, but I like going out, you know, walking around, intoxicated with my music blasted in my ears. But especially when she's, okay, she gets angry, not just with me. She's hung up on Selena in, in years past. If Selena is poo-pooing her or whatever, okay, but or saying, be safe, be careful. This is not the first time. My mother has fancied a guy she's met is her boyfriend and it could very well be true but I'm not gonna be all enthusiastic about it when she comes home from wherever and says I have a boyfriend like I'm not going through enough shit and she's pissed off that I either don't believe her or I'm very concerned he's a stranger he's not a stranger I told him everything about me and along with that of course goes she damn well, you don't know what she told him about me, so. And that's all fine and good. Could look at all the things I say about her. But the difference is, you guys aren't coming to my fucking house. I don't have to welcome you guys. My mother doesn't have to welcome you guys into her life with you knowing everything about her via me. That's the fucking difference. See? See? you're smart, you'll realize that because somebody ignorant and stupid is too many, especially these days, would say, well, why shouldn't your mom say everything about, about you to her new friend or new boyfriend when you say everything about her out here? 
because you guys aren't coming to my fucking house. I don't have to welcome you into my... She doesn't have to welcome you into her life. See, babes. See, see, see. That's the difference. That is the difference, my dears. That's the difference. And it's a huge difference, okay? It's a huge fucking difference. Including, especially when she's sick. That guy she met in the mental hospital years ago. Some of you, very few of you, even if you were following me back then, you, you know, you have your own lives. You can't be remember, expected to remember all this. But if you were following me way back then, 10 years ago, let me refresh your memory about the guy she met in the mental hospital. There's a whole bunch of videos out about it, okay? Because I don't, I don't think I could trust him, but she's like... He's my boyfriend, and you better support it. And then she's gonna, when she's upset with me, she'll badmouth me to this stranger. Okay, who doesn't know? Who doesn't understand? Who doesn't get it? Get it? Get it? See, that's another thing I have to worry about when she has new people in her life. Remember, she years ago when she was out of her fucking mind and. And she brought over a friend she wanted me to meet at 8 o'clock in the morning when I'm sound asleep in my bed, right? And then she's calling me as fucking bitch or whatever through my door because I'm refusing to come out and meet her friend. The same one she wanted to move in and sleep on our, I'm sorry, no, the friend would get my bedroom, I would sleep on this couch. But she would give us $500 a month, Lori, and we'd have, we'd have a car. <sighs> Meanwhile, like cynical Selena said, that's someone who could move in here and you'll never get rid of them and they could take over. As in squatter or something, they could take over your house. A brand new person in your life, you, you don't know... You don't know who this person is. People lie. People lie, Mom. People lie. Especially new men in your life who might be dreaming about getting in your pants. Because even at 70-something years old, you still, you know, you're not bad. I was not bad for 77, you know. She's got herself fit and trim. The meds haven't affected her. She's She didn't put on the weight from the Zyprexa and, you know... get it you can't it so if I have to worry about that my mom doesn't have to worry about you you guys knowing anything about her you're not coming to my home I never would if a guy had been a different person who had fantasized okay but he turned out to be a jerk I'm talking when I first met him he, he was he was a jerk, okay, but he, he, and then you'd be like, well, why'd you do stuff with him, be, because, you know, as he, as I said to him at the end, we, you and I have nothing in common, except I, you like doing stuff to my feet, and sucking on my feet, and do whatever, and I enjoy it, that's it, he's like, well, isn't that enough, no, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it was very enjoyable, I never experienced that in my life, so, you know, it's not enough, but anyway, I wouldn't dream of having any, even though I'd have a right to, I live here, but, and I see it in movies and TV, and, and my mom would be fine with it. I probably, when she was sick one time, she even said, if you ever have a boyfriend, you, you, oh, because she was, I don't want her, if she has a boyfriend, to have him come in here. But if she, she well, probably will have him come here since he, he's, he's my age and lives with his mom. And, you know, they're cool with it in movies and TV. They're, they're whatever, their roommates having sex in, in while they're home or whatever. But I'm not cool with that. And I would never do that to my mom. I would never have someone here. I would never do it. Just another thing, huh? Just another fucking thing I have to, to deal with here. A 
so yeah, I'm very, you won't get this till tonight because I'm very tempted to take off. And supposedly that guy was going to come to her church today. Supposedly. In my hell world, he, she could bring him home right up to church instead of the woman who drove her to church. He, he, that's what happened the last time. Remember? Remember that's what happened last time. This brand new that my mom and her friend had just met through my mom's other friend. They all went out and then he's, he's, my mom, ha she has a boyfriend now, but of course my mom, you know, got to slow dance with him and she, he was even saying, you know, it feel, and, you know, um, something like I haven't touched someone in so long or whatever, but she's supposed to be liking my mom's friends. See what I have to deal with? Or, or it feels so good, or I want to address you. That's what he was whispering to her. And, and then she's like, you should have come with us, Laurie. You could have slow danced with him. No, Mom. I'd rather take care of myself if you catch my draft, okay? Like, I don't want anything to do with this creep. But that's what happened last time. It's okay that he he's went went to their church. He, you know what he's he's trying to be with her friend, and he's they're not together. It didn't last. Okay. Apparently, it didn't last. I guess, who knows why? But I heard, not from the friend, not from that from the friend, who works. If she she has problems, but she works so full time. So you know what I mean. But anyway. She's still naive. She's still whatever, and he's. He, but, it, but he showed up at their church. That's another thing my mom will do: invite people to her church that she just met. And okay, he showed up, but that's okay. He can show up at the church. He drove them home and surprised me, and I was expecting just my mom and her friend, and I could have been half dressed, and it could have been anything. I could have answered the door, if, or been if my mom didn't have her keys, and I'll, I can walk around like that in front of the friend, the female friend, you know. get it? You get where I'm coming from? Yeah. You see why I buy this booze? I did go a year and a half without drinking at all. Selena's not my friend anymore, but I will tell her what's happening with my mom because I want her to know it's important that she know what's happening with my mom and she's not worried. She loves her to death, okay? But also so my mom can't lie and say blah 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 and, and Selena needs to know the truth. What Selena doesn't know is I went a whole year and a half without touching a drop of booze. Not one drop. whole year and a half. Okay. So not just the five months I was at Joe's, which I've never drank while I was at Joe's. You kidding me? There would be no point. He would just be disgusted with me. But you're a free moral agent, Laura. You could do what you want, but I don't advise it. The archons get in and fuck with you. That's what Joe believes. What I believe out of. But I, what I do believe is my mother does not find comfort in her belief in God. She doesn't. And she resents that she had to have this illness for half of her life. Over half, I, and in and out of mental hospitals in her poem, I shared with you guys the story of the mentally ill, remember? Okay. Her original poem, this is the story of the mentally ill, stuck away in hospitals against their will, beaten and abused, lost and confused, they roam these hills, here all halls, lost and lonely, waiting for a kind word from... Staff or family, I know because it happened to me. Doesn't matter if you have health, doesn't wealth, it doesn't matter if you have ill health. Um, blah, 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 whatever. It's out there. Find it if you want to hear it. I have a titled video. Alicia, or Laura, whatever, recites her mom's original poem, Story of the Mentally Ill. But you probably won't be able to find it. If you asked me and you wanted it, I could find it in my search and I could get it for you and give you a link. There's more than one. Fact is, my mom has every right to resent everything and so do I. I envy the people who suffer just horribly, childhoods, whatever, and they grow and they love God or whatever, but so many of them also it goes with the territory that you have to tell everyone else you're gonna they're gonna burn forever and turn in hell okay I can't do that and I can't be like my mom will be like well I don't really believe that but the religion you follow does mom it believes it 100 percent 
They were talking about people being saved and burning in hell at your sister's funeral where there were people of all religions, of no religion, of, of any kind of religion that, that don't believe in hell or that are, aren't Christian. Okay? It's not the place and time and place to do that at somebody's funeral. And my aunt was about love. But that's the kind of church it is. I cried about that 10 years ago in videos. I can say, and some of you remember that, but you don't. You wouldn't. Why would you? Not unless you have a photographic memory. Most people, I have, I had very, very few, you know, compared to now, and I have mil millions, but I had very, back then I had few, you know, I didn't have that many viewers, subscribers, I didn't have that many lifetime views. Now I have millions, millions, but it spans 12 years, see, 11 years. Remember, Hacker Enemy got my other channels and I got them back because YouTube gave them back to me when I proved that I'd been hacked. And then I have no access to them, but I'd already gotten all the videos. I'd already downloaded all the videos from them. So it's all right. I have no access to them. They're there forever unless YouTube takes them away. I have all the videos, every last one, from Alicia Creature and Alicia Wolf. Anyway, this is from 10, 20, 20, so 13 years ago, something like that, right? Yeah. That's, but, so I have, I have close to 6,000 subscribers, and I have, I don't know, three and a half million lifetime video views, something like that on this channel alone. On this channel. That's what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen with my mom today. I don't know if I'm going to take off or not. You might not get this video. Something might happen to me. I'm still not going to get shit-faced out of my mind and walk around. Okay? Even not drinking a year and a half, I still takes a lot for me to get shit-faced. That's what's going on. If this man is her new boyfriend, I have to welcome him into my life. Okay? He's not a stranger. He knows everything about me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Mom. Yeah. And what will happen with that is if you and I have any problems, you will cry to this stranger, and he won't know shit from Schnoodle. Okay? And then if he's not her boyfriend, if it's all fantasy, she's going to get real depressed and dejected. I've seen that happen too. So either way, it's going to be hell. Hell, hell for me. You understand? For me. I have a right to say all this. Because I matter too. And you know, unless you want me not here. You get it? People would say, why you, you shouldn't say all this. You shouldn't hear your dirty laundry. You shouldn't say about your money. I don't fucking care.